probably at least a couple just like it that went wrong for one reason or another. The director keeps filming takes until he gets a good one. Then it's up to the film editor to pick the best take and edit it into the picture. To show you what the film editor has to contend with, we've picked up some film from the cutting room floor. These are scenes that you'll never see on television. Marcia, I ain't no informer. appreciate your perceptiveness and, and wit, Mr. Paladin. But don't doubt for one moment that this public servant is going to give those fine upstandings, verbal and vivacious and sons of this. I advise him to leave town. Uh, on the next plane. Then you want to continue without him, sir? We'll manage, sir. One more report of trouble, and that's the end of the Hyundai. You bet your ass, sir. Cut! Cut! Sprint! Um, Mr. Favor, I never stepped out of line with you in my life. But sometimes there comes a time for everything. I'd like to do that line over again. Many years ago, White Amanda and I decided to try to eliminate the causes of injustice and inequality from this world of ours. <laughs> In his own twisted and distorted lexicon, he calls it faith, strength, truth. But in just a moment, Peter Vollmer will apply his... Legal station, huh? Three, four days, comes in last night at the and gets up and goes again this morning. And Joe, we want some coffee here. It's a hell of a way to run a railroad. Well, I'll give you a little edit for you. <laughs> I ought to kill you right now. You, you killed him. He sneaked. Draw his monkey wrench. <laughs> well, Marshal, I want to thank you for all your help. Sure. And uh, by the way, them credentials I give you, I might have need of them. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hmm. Oh, I got it. You already got him. Yeah. Yeah. You better come along with me, Doc. Cut and print. David. Okay, go ahead. If I start hollering, just hit me with a piece of wood or something. You might might want to start hollering, Marshal, but uh, I'll bet you don't. Texas, and he joined a herd on the goddamnedest trail. I can't remember the name of that son of a bitch. Cut it. You are beautiful, and your faith is beautiful. But sometimes the essence of beauty is a fragility. Bear's not a good place to test it. Are you afraid of a test? Oh, shit. Cut. Pick up. You all right, ma'am? Chester, he... He... <laughs> and look after Matt. And look back at her. Where's my horse? Right, <laughs> 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 Bitch. 
Let me understand the oh point. Oh, my so God. I... What the hell is with this? Oh, oh, oh. 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 bitch wouldn't even make good soap. Oh, 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 oh. 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 You'd probably get a rash, you know? Oh. Get it out of your system. What? Norman Hoppensee. You know, like, uh, what's your name? Schweinehund. Oh. Schweinehund. Lieutenant Schweinehund. Parker here. Glad to know you. I'm sorry we couldn't be on a more favorable. What's person. the matter with you? That's not his name. He just called you a dirty dog. And he's right. You better watch that language, Mac. You're not messing around with kids. Hey, Captain. Bye. Japanese fuel bars. The nips is crawling in the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> We're gathered here to put these two together. Uh, and some other stuff. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, hmm, <laughs> that was a good year for that ship, wasn't it? Guys. <laughs> Good morning, Elroy. Good morning, sir. Sir, they've arrived. And by gig, they're afraid to even get on PT-13. <laughs> I tell you, Elroy, this is my finest hour. Oh, yes. Is the radio message ready? We've got to work fast before Mikhail gets back. <laughs> oh, here they are. Now, 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 Including your heads of... Including your heads of Charlie... Ah, phenomenal. He hates me, you know that, don't you? He does hate me, huh? Huh? Oh. huh? Well, if you want my opinion... I don't want your opinion, you horse's ass! <laughs> uh, Mikhail, you and I both know that you collect the biggest bunch of shit. I hate kids. <laughs> Captain, Nick. Captain. Yes. Ow! Oh, he's loyal, all right, but he's also frightened, and he set their horses out. Well, we better get back to the air strip. 
It's time to greet the mothers of the PT-73. Oh, those mothers. <laughs> Your fly's open. <laughs> You don't know. God damn it, you should. <laughs> Come on, pack that grip. Damn. Get with it. Oh, <laughs> Albert here has been so busy making money that he really hasn't had time to gather an education. Are He's you just... still bullshitting? <laughs> God, God. God. You will. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. Screw you. <laughs> God. Are you really? Uh, you are? I think I am too. Look at Sharky. Stop oh, now, Sharky. Don't eat me. I saved your life. I saved your life, you lump. We've come a long ways, Wellington. Do you remember the Republic Theater on 42nd Street? The old hole like to see? No. Do you remember the dressing rooms in the old Republic Theater? The old hole like to see? Do you remember Gypsy Rose Lee? The old hole like to see? <laughs> come on, come on, don't stand in a daze. Will you wake up? Wake up! Wake up! Excuse me. It's all right. <laughs> all right, stop it. Don't get silly. Not me. Stop it. I don't like it. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, what are you using for bait? Apple. You're supposed to use a worm. The worm is in the apple. Go ahead. Be careful. Do you think so? The way I feel right now, anybody's beautiful. I... What's the matter? Class. What? I got a pee pee. <laughs> they don't need to justify their lives. I do. I'm a physician. I'm a surgeon. God damn it. This <laughs> man! Oh. Oh. No leave here now, and no cost, not money. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> in which he states that the airlines that join South America and the United States will be of immeasurable economic value and intrinsic value, or whatever the hell the other word is. <laughs> there are thousands just like Phillips. Honest, decent, self-respecting men who've lost their jobs through no fault of their own. God damn it, let me start right away again. Gee, yeah, I'm lucky. Lucky? Say, you want to be secondary to the air. Yeah, Chicago. Uh, Listen, I have half a mind to can't. Don't do that again. You have half a mind, all right. Well, I get, I get goose scared. One good night's haul out of this and we can all go home. I'll be a son. You will be in charge of the wagon train leaving in the morning. See that all necessary supplies are put up to her. Alameda will send us wind and uh, weather position changes and ships and so on the thing. Uh, <clears throat> now, you're one of these destructive critics. You say everything a guy does, I'll... Jesus. What's to be done? I don't know oh, what's to be no. done. <laughs> I don't... Put that in telephone wires. Spend your time building up new rackets. 
So then when the clown comes up for air, you find a dozen more guys. Go, 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 I didn't try and take it over. I took it over. You think we might object? Well, why should you? I've proven to you that I could run it better than anyone else. Trenner isn't any good. Yes, you, you've given us a nice bit of revenue. Well, I've given you more than any four of them put together. And you will keep on doing it. Provided you give me... Your, yeah, you know what I mean? All this is good. God damn it, you can give this to Sadie Fryer, will you? I, I, I can't get do this. You know, my mother wrote in the flyleaf to my... My, my dear little Gabriel, that means uh, nuts. Hold it. And remember, you may be only a big brother to me. Oh, God damn. I'm punched. You think you're clever, don't you? You've been getting away from with murder. Oh, damn. Come down here and prove it. Who are they? Did Kruger tell you? No. So I think I'll keep one sitting right in the All thing. Right. Well, what have you been doing besides powdering your nose? I've been working on the first chapter of Sin Doesn't Pay. Have you seen Leavenworth? Not lately. Say, Mr. Scott, I've never... I've got it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bott, I don't Cut. know the next line. Now, <laughs> if there's anything you want to say to me, Ruth, thought you liked beer. I do like beer. But out here and go for walks and, and get that... Find cool air on your chest and go swimming in little pools and... Holy Christ, then where am I? I'm screwy about it. The green fields and fresh air. Yeah, green Sir. fields. <laughs> Disappeared? Yes, yeah, surprised, eh? What happened to her? Well, that's for you to tell us. Listen, I've told you everything I know. I'm good. Sir. But don't jar the table. I'm terribly sensitive. I'm right into right. the goddamn... Okay. Right. Hold it. Well, I hope you don't think that I'm enjoying it. Well, it's this business of waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen. That's what burns me up. And the fact that I can't remember the line burns me up more. <laughs> <laughs> she saw me... Oh. Uh, Start again. Ready? Ready? All right. You. It's the graveyard of the civilization that shot from under us, the world of outmoded ideas. Ha-ha. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Sal's the matter with him. Right now, I'll bet he's the he-man boss of that herd that I work with. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. You see, we, the Rangers, have been trying to get something on Judge Blake for months. God damn it, Denny <laughs> There's my partner, Judge Carter. <laughs> Curly, you're mistaken. I'm Lieutenant Colton, a Union officer, temporarily assigned to Secret Service in hopes that we would, might be able to get rid of this thing that we got here. <laughs> well, smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I can't raise my ass off the ground. Bill, darling! Hello. <laughs> Sally, I want you to meet Van Johnson, president <laughs> of the Actors Guild. How do you do? <laughs> da, da, da. So to help you get yourself back in the Marine mood, I'm restricting you to quarters for, for 10 days. Son of a bitch. I thought perhaps you were. Did you find out that you were free tonight? That's the wrong goddamn line, yeah. isn't it? Huh? <laughs> All right, now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress off. <laughs> I want to see her suffer. Oh, please. I want to see her life torn apart. Please, Mrs. Tanner, don't get yourself excited. I know you have a great emotional distress, but let's try to be reasonable. By going to the police, what will you gain? Not for one more broken the African My goodness, just imagine. Ten million people listening at one time. What a colossal invention in miniature. Our poor. Oh, uh, a letter came this morning. If I can find the goddamn thing. Yeah, where it is. All right, now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress off. You seem to have spilt your drink. 
lovely party, isn't it? Schmuck. <laughs> Take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. <laughs> Can we do it over? Yes, we put the gas on. <laughs> you know, I haven't been in an apartment like this for a long time. It's been two years since I was in New York. How does it look to you? About the same as any other place these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> this is a deplorable situation. And something's got to be done about it. I'm not going to stand idly by it. Dad, can't you understand that I, that I don't want to go to the dance? Oh, I know you're trying to be a good sport about it, but I'm going to get to... Now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. Bill! <laughs> Did you know it was Eddie Moore's blonde wife Regan was supposed to run off with? Who doesn't? Did you know that Eddie Moore's owned the God? God damn it. Come Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a God damn it knowledge that does. Uh... Didn't Tanner come at your invitation? And didn't you try to get rid of him because you knew that your husband was coming home unexpectedly? That's not true. And didn't he refuse to leave because he knew the crevice and the gamma's crash? <laughs> Doc, I had another one of those goddamn fits. Could I bring a friend of mine, Steve Trilling, along? He has fits every day. Kill it. <laughs> Mr. President? <clears throat> Mr. McComb. How, How do you do, do, Mr. President? A pleasure indeed, sir. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, Annie, you handle that cigar like a monkey handles a coconut. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> And every time we rehearse the scene, she pulled that same trick. Now, you know an actress of any sensitivity... Oh, Sally, Sally, darling. What are you... Sally, this is Stanley Blake. Sally, of uh, uh, Sally. Oh, oh, you know. Know. You know, it's two years since I've been in New York. How does it look to you? Well, about the same as every place else these days. But good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. Well, I don't know whether you've laid any... Late. Hey. You know, it's none of my goddamn... Golly, Moses. Where do you want the remains sent? Is it that bad? What happened, Mike? Gee, these New York women are certainly nuts. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Sir, Johnny Rocco was more than a king. He was an emperor. His rule extended over beer, the slot machines, the numbers racket and a dozen other forbidden enterprises. He was a master of the fix. Jesus, I <laughs> turn at that face. Mary! Oh, no. You get out. You turn right around and leave. Oh, but Mary! You heard me. I planned for four years how you were going to see me, and it wasn't going to be like this. You get out and count to 20, and then come in again. All right, Mary. Hello, John. Hiya, Fred. God damn it. Oh, sh... Where's the kid? Get out of the way. Well, the goddamn thing won't work. Say, I meant to tell you, I fixed up a little lab on the porch. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. Found a table I could use. Had to extend the gas connection a bit for the Bunsen burner. Look, I hope you don't mind regret, uh, goddamn regret having that. Yeah, why don't you? I hope you don't mind. Are you comfortable in the house? Very. Josephine's a fine cook. I'll probably end up getting fat. <sighs> I hope you don't mind. I meant to tell you that if I got the line right, I was going to build a laboratory on <laughs> the goddamn fort. Oh, my. You don't know where I could find an apartment, do you? Why, sure, Joe. How about the King's Arms? King's Arms? Where's the King's Arms? Around the Queen's ass. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> really. It's the Soupy Sale Show, starring Soupy Sale. 
right there. And uh, you do that, I love you, give me a kiss. Be careful. <laughs> Yes, you've seen it in magazines, you've read it in the newspapers. In fact, perhaps you've even seen the owner's picture. Ralph Williams, the owner of Bayshore at Chrysler Plymouth, 345 El Camino Real in the city of San Bruno. You notice the big bald-headed son of a bitch? The man that came to San Francisco to offer them more for the dollar they spend. The man that came to San Francisco to rape each and every citizen and the whole San Francisco Bay Area. You don't believe it? Listen to me. I don't lie. Take a fucking car like this. A 1966 Ford, a Country Squire 9 Pastor station wagon. Don't worry about the equipment. Imagine all the fun you can have in the back. And while you're doing it, imagine all the money that that bald-headed prick Ralph Williams is going to be making on the car he's talk, trying to fuck you out of. Yes, the man that'll take every dime out of the San Francisco Bay Area and spend it on prostitutes, booze, and, of course, crap tables in the city of Las Vegas. I'm sure you've heard about it. So remember this. If you'd like to get fucked and hooked real hard before you buy a car, come down here. Let Ralph Williams do it. Why not? Why, why not somebody else? Remember our address is 345 El Camino Real in the city of San Bruno, but if you come from Marin County, East Bay Area, or San Jose, your money spends just as well as anybody else's. And when this bald-headed son of a bitch gets hold of you, you will spend money. Talking about payments, five years payments of $100 a month. You can't get even. So shop before you buy, base your Chrysler Plymouth. <laughs> Hi there, Ralph Freebie here, your incredibly naive used car salesman. Once again, I'm happy to report that we are now running our one-time only sale. That's right, today only and for the rest of the year. You can come in and buy any car on this lot for the exact amount of money we paid for it. Now, you can't do much better than that, can you? I know what you're thinking. You're asking yourself, how in the world does Ralph do it? Well, you're in luck because here comes a customer now and you can see for yourself. Excuse me, sir. I was yes, just sir. watching you on television. I took a helicopter right over here. I'd like to buy this car right here, please. All right, sir. That'll be $695. Oh, fine, sir. I have it right here. There it is. Okay. Fine. And here is your car. You, 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 you got to be kidding me. This, this is a, this is a cardboard car. I don't want this. I want my money back. That's ridiculous. This, too, I want back. Can't you talk when a man ad libs? Oh. <laughs> uh, pardon me, sir. Are you a nudist? No, I'm a fig tree waiting for a bus that went bad. Get out of here. Oh, then you are a nudist. Yes, I'm a nudist. Brilliant. You must be a regular rocket scientist. Well, tell me, how does one become a nudist? <laughs> well, it helps if you take your clothes off first. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, sir. How long have you been a nudist? Since my wife divorced me in California. When your wife gets everything, you screwed up the lines. Get the hell out of here. Who screwed up the lines? My lines were perfect. Because I feel you're standing right on top of me and well, I'm in the nude. play it. Why can't you play it? Play it like you're in the nude. No. And you're embarrassed. Can't you play it? You've only got one dimension to you? Play it. Like All right, I'll dimension you. I'll make it such a dimension your wife will go, my God, it's an orangutan. <laughs> Get the color guy off the set. <laughs> Unless there's any cleaning to be done. <laughs> Ma -ma me. Down, down. What happened? Oh, they're rehearsing a Max Edit comedy in the next studio. One of the pies got loose. <laughs> Jesus, God, I'm sorry. You dirty. 
you dirty I'm rascal. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I took one. Ah, I took one look. I'm sorry. Holy Jesus. Yes, please. Get you as many towels as you can find. God, that was funny looking. I'm sorry, darling. Mommy! Oh. What happened? Well, they're rehearsing a Keystone comedy in the next studio, and one of the pies got loose. Well, we've got to go away right away. Well, shouldn't I take some of this chocolate off his we face? We don't have time to take the chocolate off his face. We're over... <laughs> We're over budget now. Oh. Give me a break. <laughs> well, Rupert... Have you disposed of the king? <laughs> I didn't do it. All right, all right. I was right. We're not taking credit okay. now. <laughs> the hell is it? You want to turn me in? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Rupert, have you disposed of the king? Want to take it clean? Yeah, let's take it clean. Okay. Well, Rupert, have you disposed of the king? Yes, Black Michael, and now you shall sit on his throne. The king is dead. dead. Long live the king. The king lives! <laughs> the king lives! The king lives! The king lives! Who said the king lives? <laughs> In 1933, W.C. Fields and Franklin Pangborn were shooting a scene when a, a rather severe earthquake hit Hollywood. Now, the camera kept running, and here's that brief, real moment. Hang on. Yeah. What's the matter? Earthquake. Yeah. 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 Everybody walk. He's all right now. It's all right. Come on. All right. Okay. Remind me about the cotton-picking uranium mines. Uranium? Yeah, well, we're not sure. All we know is the lizards light up at night. But don't let's not talk about me. Uh, what's your phone number, honey? God. What's your phone number? What the hell is that? What picture is that from? <laughs> With 10,000 acres, you know what that does to me, gal. I know what it does to me. Puts me in a 104% bracket. Only way I can break even is to go broke. What do you say, little filly? You want a head of... You want a head of poor? Cut. You want a heifer of who? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, little filly? You want to help a poor cow hand, help him off at the... Help him off at the pie? Cut it, cut it, cut it. I pay you $24 on the handful of beads. Hey, now, wait a minute. You're out of line. Seem fair to me. You people buy an entire island of Manhattan for the same price. Ah, it was a lousy deal, Chief. In a hundred years, they won't get a nickel for the place. No, white man, very smart about real estate. Remember when you first come here? This once entire Kaui territory. Then you make treaty, we divide land. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, uh, Sergeant O'Rourke, Corporal Lager on reporting, sir. Oh, at ease, man, at ease. I've, uh... Called you in because I'd like to discuss this business of this. Oh, Are you all right, sir? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have to get that loose board fixed. Oh. I'll get Private Duffy on it this afternoon, sir. Yes, oh, you do that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you were saying, sir. Kenny. Uh, just a little higher, Duffy. We want to make sure those horns are not at pants level. <laughs> I know what you mean, sir. <laughs> Sergeant O'Rourke, Corporal Agarn reporting, sir. Eddie's, Eddie, you can just put those down, Duffy. Yes, sir. Now, it has come to my attention that you men are not talking to each other. Now, what seems to be the problem? And who'd tell you a thing like that, sir? I told the captain. You've got a loud bugle and a mouth to match. You can't talk to me like that, Agar. He can talk to you any way he wants now, to. Now, now, wait a minute, man. The minute you hear something, you go running right to the captain. Well, I just think it's stupid for two friends not to be talking. Who are you calling stupid? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I may be stupid, but I'm smart enough never to talk to you again. Yes, and that goes for me, too. Now, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen. We can't have non-commissioned officers not talking to each other and not talking to the men under them. Now, look, Agarn, no soldier ever has a good enough reason not to talk to his buddies. Captain Parmenter. Yes, Corporal. 
Would you tell Private Duffy that I just found a good reason never to speak to him again? I'm still talking to you, Duffy. Well, I ain't talking to no man who comes running to the captain over a little thing like this. It's not such a little thing, either. <laughs> Why, you son of a bitch. Uh, would you mind getting me a glass of oh, you? <laughs> you know, there's never been another man in her heart. Until now. Nuts. No, so that's it. So for purely selfish reasons, you'll rob this boy of his great opportunity. And instead of helping, oh, God damn it. Oh, that Oh. Oh, oh God, God, did you hurt yourself? Oh, no. Yeah, give it to me. I'll take it. Oh, God. Is <laughs> <laughs> that it? Henry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cut it. Get all our men together. We'll run them out of sun run. All right, cut. Uh. Hello, Mr. Temple. How do you feel? Feel all right now, son. Well, this Marshal Davis. The gang's just taking over sundown. And they have their... Oh, God damn it, I got that out. Hello, Mr. Temple. How do you feel? Feel all right now, son. Well, this is Marshal Davis. Howdy, Marshal. The gang's just taking over sun... Oh, shit. What the hell does God do with this goddamn rope? I mean, I, I knew it would happen. I get it all tied up. Well, no one will ask for me, but uh, I don't know my line. Damn it. claims he had the deed to sundown. This fellow said he had the same thing and the goddamn thing was taken in this guy's... Now, we can talk this over after you've had a little sleep, because I'll check up in town and see how close the law is to on your... Uh, balls. Ah, goddamn... Don't you see, Doc? I had to get out. I know you. Oh. Sorry. I don't... don't you see, Doc? I had to get out. I know you think I was a rat, but it's the only way I can ever square things. Now, look, Eddie got into a jam, and I took the rat for him. Oh, God damn it. Got it. <laughs> I know you thought I was a rat, but Eddie got into a jam, and I took the rat for him. I'll be a son of a bitch. What well, color? I'll be God damn. <laughs> look, Red, all this guy plays is a bet and angle. He'll bang into one God Let's head to that water hole. These horses must be fall. Oh, shit, God damn it. Clock struck midnight and the playlist began. It's good. Oh, my goodness. Fast it. Is there any law against it? There's a law against breaking into telephone boxes. What are you talking about? There's been too many boxes broken into around our neighborhood. How do you propose to open the safe? That may not be so easy a matter. The goddamn thing's locked. <laughs> My dear Wong. Are you serious? You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that shit. First part of the Yes, I know it was, but I stunk up the... No, not only does it make me have something to think of, something to think of. I got that far. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, well, what? Christ, where am I? But something could be done that might make it possible for these fellows in the winter time to have a better break than I have living down here in this goddamn. Hello, Godfrey. Hey, you can put the glass in the. Nuts! Come on, quick. You'd give a bang up, damn it, goddamn it. I know he's going to be a bit. Gentlemen, Mr. Jackson is just joining ship. Our first officer, Mr. Rigo. How are you? Our second officer, Mr. Von Ellenberg. And our third, Mr. Jones. Hi, Mr. Jones. Well, gentlemen, we are about to drink a toast to a three-inch gun, which is to be mounted on the rear deck, after deck, poop deck, let us go. <laughs> if you have good position, you can keep in condition. I can get an exhibition. Mix up the bell on a bell. Stop! Yes, sir.
it. Now listen, you big bull hunk. I... The next time you pull any rough stuff in front of the uh, servants, right, I'm going to... Uh, damn... Hey, don't worry. That's... Oh, cut it. No, no, no. You give me that I treaty or I'll... No, don't! Put that gun down. You give me that treaty or I'll kill you. Put that gun... <laughs> We've crushed them on for the second time. And you know who's done this? My regiment. Dietrich Regiment. I thank God my son was active in this great event. Oh, hell. Your son is getting the finest girl in the world. Well, if you don't think your daughter is a lucky girl, let me tell you. My great, 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 God damn it. <laughs> Enough poison on this to bring immediate death to all concerned. Very strange. Nobody ever do anything to yeah. Talachan. God damn son of a bitch! You take him home? I am his elder brother. Hmm. Clues explode in embarrassed face like... God damn... <laughs> Never mind the shot. This is more important. Remember the box I told you about that was stolen from me on the boat? Remember, it served you well. Well, here it is. I had a fight with Quall and took it away from him. He probably was the one that fired those shots. You ought to go after him. He cannot get far. Cannot conceal yourself. Damn! We're about to drink a toast to a three-inch gun, which is to be mounted on the after deck of the old galloping goose, the East Wind Sweetheart. Set him up. Hello, Lieutenant. How are you? So, you're the Pat. God damn it. That's all I see. Let's see the best card. Hold it. Hold it. Find that glass. Your shipmates. Gentlemen, Mr. Jackson is just joining ship. Our first officer, Mr. Rigo. How are you, sir? Mr. Von Allenberg, our second. How are you? And Mr. Jones, our third. Jones? How are you? Well, gentlemen, we are about to drink a toast to a three-inch gun, which is to be mounted on the after deck of the old galloping goose, the East End uh, Wind Sweetheart Nuts. You know, we were married for a whole day once. Don't touch me. You're my husband. Uh oh. Oh, you are. All right, start again. Wait, come on. Oh, Jesus. Why, Oscar, how in the world did you get in here? <laughs> and now, for your listening and dancing pleasure, we present the complete and unadulterated Rowan and Martin Latin. Starring Dan Rowan and Dick Martin. Martin. Artie Johnson. <laughs> Judy Klein. Oh, fuck. Ruth Buzzy. What are you going to do, fart? <laughs> Henry Gibson. I cannot come to terms with, with worms. <laughs> Goldie Hart. Oh, I got it and I wasn't supposed to. Alan Sue. This outfit just screams for accessories. Joanne Worley. I can't swim, Yours truly, Blur. some of the great, the near great. You're going to have to run through that and against right there, right there. Uh, Can somebody who's walking around please stop? There's a lot of jingling, okay? It was me, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I have money. I didn't know that. <laughs> if you're going to scream at me, get over there. <laughs> Troller in my ass. <laughs> We don't write this shit, you know. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I just gave you the Hong Kong flu. <laughs> Mr. Garner, I admire you very much. And, and I admire Alan Sue's, too. But, but if this thing goes any further, I'm afraid you're both under arrest. <laughs> Downtown Burbank. Oh. 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 Get off of me! 
Make up, please. Don't you just love Big Al? He keeps us out, you know. Well, if you don't like our service, you can take your... <laughs> Here, Goldie. <laughs> she came. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> Come on, come on, hurry up. <laughs> well, if you don't like our business, you can... <laughs> oh. She thinks she's playing checkers. Come on, come on, hurry up. <laughs> She was pregnant at nine, but I loved her. Look at that moon. Look at those stars. Look at this lump. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I thought you had. I thought you had three. I thought there were three questions. That's what they were. <laughs> Look at the moon. Look at the star. Many years later. <laughs> A blister on your thing can be painful. <laughs> conduct these maneuvers alone. I have to wait for orders. And the mail's late. Why is the mail always late? Beats the shit out of me, sir. Oh, it does? It just came in. Oh, good. Let's see. I guess I fucked up again. <laughs> tackle a girl in my life. What are you, some kind of pervert? <laughs> I happen to be a complete heterosexual. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, I've always enjoyed you very much, and I'd just like to shake you by the hand. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you touch me, and I'll hit you right in the mouth. <laughs> You lay a hand on me and I'll call the police. What's so funny? Watch, 
shave this one and send her up to my room. <laughs> Yeah, where is it, John? I'm gonna level with you. Yeah? Dick never liked you. <laughs> can I, can I tell you something, What's Dan? that, Don? Really, I've, I've worked with a lot of big stars. You passed away. Now you're a good guy. By the way, can we work it out? You and I be a team? All we have to do is give Dick a cookie and an American flag and send him overseas someplace. <laughs> I like you, though, Dan, because you keep talking and keep the pace rolling right along. <laughs> it's a big kick, though. How's the family? <laughs> Dick, I just was talking to Dan. I was boosting you. Hmm. Listen to me, I'm a friend. Get rid of Dan, you don't need him. Work alone. Come out in the nude with a cookie. <laughs> Do a half gainer off the table, anything. Dan who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one for the smart kid. <laughs> uh, hey, how do you really like Joanne? Joanne who? Joanne Worley. Isn't oh, she's a wonderful huh? girl, really. She's the type of girl that, you know, if we went on safari, you'd have her run in front of the jeep and look for lepers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a great girl. I saw her the other night. She took off the girdle. The whole body went... <laughs> <laughs> An ancient Hebrew saying, my people can kick the shit out of yours. <laughs> You don't see that his flies open, do you, Cardi? How does that grab you, fly lovers? You should see later on, I drop my pants and my ass walks away. You're nothing but a dirty, lying, no down coward. No down coward? Hey, Gordon, if you'll only come down here and do your kazoo number. Come on, Dick. Did you hear I'd like to present this to Dick Martin for outs an, outs an outstanding job assisting the city of Los Angeles and his Department of Animal Regulation for keeping so many dogs off the street at night. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I only tried to do my best as often as I could. <laughs> well, it's time to say goodnight, Dick. New in town, sailor. <laughs> Dan. Mm. <laughs> Paul Keys. Mm. George Slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Ed Friendly, you don't get amused by because he shows up once in a while for lunch. So you're not going to be that thrilled. The rest of the writers, I don't know because all white people look alike. <laughs> so I'm not that thrilled about them. But I just came to say this. If they want me to do this show again, they can kiss my ass. <clears throat> I think that would uh, probably come true. <laughs> Oh, oh you're God. because this is the Twilight Zone.
Buckley here, inviting you to see the the the, the best of the worst, or like uh, the, the things that we've I, my, from my great collection. That is, if I'm stammering and stuttering, it's got so excited. <laughs> like, like like this, for instance. <laughs> And the person who did it is an expert in anatomy, too. I wish they'd find some way to control the subjects of man studies. A maniac with a lot of knowledge is a threat. I will perfect my own race of people. A race of atomic supermen which will conquer the world. slow moving chief yeah they're dead they're all messed up and of course it's all part of Zachary's horrible horrible that's that's me Zachary and the horrible horribles on these film collecting things I've I've been collecting for years and years and years and uh, I've condensed them all so you can uh, you can go crazy <laughs> very quickly <laughs> well it's time for me to go so uh, that's all I can tell you just uh, look out for Zachary's horrible horribles all right bye bye <laughs>